We waited for almost like four hours. Is that like, she just like a down ass. <laughs> It like haunts me just remembering that experience very much like on her phone the whole time. And she looked at me and she's like, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing today? So what the heck is up on this stunning day? Were you guys a little shook that I didn't say Gorga day? Tell me if you were shook a little bit in the comments bar below. Tell me if you're a little shook. So I was, I was just, I was just testing you. I want to know if you guys were a little shook on that one. Anyways, you guys, I am so excited to film today's video because we're gonna be filming a rating my celebrity experiences video. I've never done a video like this at all. 100% never done a video like this at all. But I have to say a huge shout out to Laura Lee, my best friend who actually made a video like this recently, a couple weeks back. And I'm gonna leave her video linked down below if you guys wanna check it out. It was super, super funny and I was very interested in her experiences. Technically, I already knew all of them. Like I literally already knew every single thing she was gonna say. <laughs> But um, it was still a really, really cute video, so I would check it out. But I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a video similar to that and kind of give my experiences with certain celebrities because actually I was really shocked at the amount of people that were in my DMs that were like, make a video like that, do a video like Laura's, talk about the celebrities. And I'm like, y'all just want the tea. Y'all want the cheese man. You guys are cheese mosas. And honestly, I am too. <laughs> I am too. And that's just the reality of the situation. But um, I was nervous to make this because I didn't want it to be like dramatic and intense and crazy and you know, Manny's talking shit about this person. I didn't want it to be that. So I was like, let me just be careful, but I'm gonna make it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you guys, that's what today's video is going to be. I'm going to be talking about and ranking out of 10, a 0 out of 10, or 1 to 10, experience with certain celebrities I have met, have encountered. I've actually been super, super lucky and super blessed to be in the position that I'm in. Um, and I've been to a lot of events, a lot of brand events, a lot of uh, premieres. I've been to brand launches with certain celebrities and things like that. So I've had a lot of interactions with certain celebrities. I could literally make three of these videos. I'm not even kidding. I could literally make three of these videos. And if you guys like it, I will definitely make another one if you guys are down. Um, but I'm gonna talk about a couple experiences in today's video and we'll rank them and see what you guys think. But that is that on that. As always, if you guys like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it and enjoy with that. But if you guys do like this video, if you guys like tea, <laughs> if you guys like the gays, it doesn't get better. It gets worse. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. But yeah, let's go and get into uh, ranking, rating, it's rating celebrity experiences that I've had. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start, I have like, I pulled up photos on my phone. I have like screenshotted from my Instagram, just different celebrities. So we're gonna go, let's go and start off like, let's start off good. So let's talk about a good experience I had that I was like, oh, so sweet, so stunning, so lovely. And that is gonna be my experience with Drew Barrymore. Oh, 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 oh Josie Grossy. What? I'm gonna get, no, I'm, you know what? I'm gonna say the experience and then I'm gonna give them the rating at the end of every single celebrity. I'm gonna say like what the rating was at the end of them. So with Drew Barrymore, I actually met Drew because she actually has a brand called Flower Beauty. It is a drugstore brand. It's a beauty line. And honestly, they have such stunning stuff, like kind of shockingly so, really, really, really pretty drugstore makeup. And that brand was actually having a little like getaway trip to like Santa Barbara, I think. It was like Northern California, not Northern, but like up norther than me. I can't talk. Basically, it was higher than me, essentially. And so we met her at this, like, really, really, really cute, like, hotel. I brought my mom with me. And honestly, like, I was shocked at how much I loved Drew. I knew I would like her. I just figured I would. I just felt, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna like her. I feel like it's gonna be fantastic. Actually, technically, we met her at the airport. I just remembered. We met her at the airport on the plane before we went up to the place. And right then and there, I loved her. I, I loved her right away. And you know what's funny? The, th the funny thing about Drew Barrymore is that like, you know all of the like roles that she plays in movies and shows and things like that? It seems to be the same role in like every movie, right? It just seems very Drew Barrymore. It's cause that's who Drew is as a person. She is just like all those roles that you see her play. She's just like that. She's so sweet and she's so endearing. And like, we had this like really fun, like breakfast in the morning when I was like putting makeup on her. I was like, what? How am I sitting next to Drew Barrymore right now and like putting makeup on her from one of her like face palettes? I was like, is this like real life? My mom was there. She was screaming. She loves Drew Barrymore. Um, and honestly, how could you not? How could you not love Drew Barrymore? Did you guys, have you guys seen 51st Dates? Come on. That movie is iconic. 
<laughs> Basically, all I'm saying is that the experience was actually exceptional, and I was so, so, so excited that someone that I truly loved was just as awesome as I was hoping she would be. So, I'm gonna give her a rating of a 10 out of 10. Woo! So, Drew Barrymore was a stunning interaction, and honestly, she was great, and, on, and I've been on her, like, show since then, and she was just, she was really, really, really cool. Like, genuinely really, really cool. Let's go ahead and go into my next experience, and this is with Mariah Carey. I met Mariah Carey, the diva herself. Um, so actually what happened with Mariah Carey, she was doing like a cool like promo situation for her Christmas album. Obviously she has like a Christmas album. Make my wish come true. And she talks about it every single Christmas time. You know, she is the Christmas queen. It's, it's Mariah's Christmas. It's Mariah's Christmas, it is what it is. And it was actually really, really funny because it was me, Daniel Prada, my friend Daniel, and Ricky Thompson, and we were all there, we were all kind of waiting, we all got there at the same time, and we all had like a little time slot that we had to be there by to do this thing, right? And honestly, I loved being there with Daniel and Ricky. Like, honestly, I already love Daniel, you guys already know, but on a side note, Ricky Thompson is so freaking awesome and just such a sweet guy. He really is just like funny and fun and sweet, and it's honestly very endearing, and I really, really, really like Ricky a lot, actually. I'm a huge fan of his. But, so we were waiting there, and we waited for almost like four hours. Four hours for Mariah to do, like to be ready to do a thing. Four hours? Four hours? And you know what, honestly, it could've been more than four hours. I'm not even kidding, it could've been longer. Cause they had us like get there at like two and I think we didn't like wrap to like eight. Honey. Um, so basically what ended up happening was I actually ended up doing a little segment where I de decorated cookies with Mariah. There's actually a video on my channel where I decorated cookies and it was like so funny because I was actually like a little bit nervous because had been so so many hours. I'm like, oh my God, is she gonna be like a diva? Is she gonna be like really rude? Like, is she gonna be mean? I didn't I didn't know what was gonna happen. I had never had an experience with Mariah. Um, and so um, I remember like sitting there waiting for her to come out and I was like singing because like the, and the, all throughout like the house that we were at, they were playing Mariah's music, her Christmas album. And I was just like, you know, I was just going along, I was singing the song, and she walks in like, don't act like you know that song. And then she winked at me and laughed, and I literally like, all my nerves just disappeared after that moment, because I was just like, holy shit, <laughs> she's so cool. She was also the most flawless human in real life. I could have literally died with how stunning she was in real life. I'm not kidding, she's a skinny legend. And that's just what it's gonna be, that's what, that's what it'll always be. She was super cool, she was super, super cool, super down to earth, super sweet. There was a lot of people in the room, which it does make me a little bit nervous. When there's like literally 10 people in the room watching you do something, it does freak me out a little bit. It makes me feel like I have to be like really on or just like kinda, I don't like that feeling. But she made it really easy and it was a really, really fun experience. So overall, I have to say the rating in general for this was probably an eight out of 10. And I only say it's an eight because of the fact that we waited so long, but you almost can't blame her because it's Mariah Carey and she Y'all know she's gonna be late. Y'all know she's gonna be fucking late. She's a delicious diva. What are we supposed to expect here? What are we supposed to expect? But um, overall, so I'd say it's an eight out of 10, just for the fact that of uh, us waiting all day, but the experience herself, like meeting her and her whole aura would be a 10 because she's actually so freaking cool. Next, let's talk about another diva. We have Miss JLo, Jennifer Lopez, honey. And so this experience was actually very, very unique because so basically Live Nation invited me over to see her essentially like your her entire like show, like for her doing a tour. It was like her entire show and it was so like, in, it was basically a rundown of the show, but like a rehearsal, it was like a, the whole entire show rehearsal. So she did the entire show at that rehearsal and I was just like, it was like, literally the most shockingly like insane show ever. Like she is such a professional and so good at what she does. Like it's actually gaspy. Like I was actually gasping for air. I actually fell on the same day that her like, she had like an album that was like, it was like a 20 year anniversary or something. It was like an anniversary of something. And I remember like someone coming up to me like, you should present her this like cake. And I was like, no, no, I don't want to do that. Why would I do that? She doesn't know me. She doesn't know who I am. Why would I present her this cake and like get a microphone and be like, Jennifer, this is for your team. Just wants to let you know that you're sickening. I was like, I don't want to do this. Like, I'm not kidding you guys. Like, if I, honestly, it like haunts me just remembering that experience because like literally I didn't want to do it. Like, if you could imagine someone not wanting to do something, the most ever, that was me. I didn't want to do this. She, like, it's Jennifer freaking Lopez. She doesn't know who the fuck I am. She doesn't give a fuck who I am. I was just there watching, just having fun, like, hee hee ha ha. Like, just chilling and like just having fun watching the experience. I was like, I don't want to do this, but like her team was like, that that's the plan. You're going to go up and you're going to do this. And I was like, but I don't want to. 
<laughs> I don't want to. But I did it because I didn't want to be difficult. I don't want to be a dumb fucking badass. So I still did it anyway. And I was so uncomfortable. Obviously, like I'm I'm full B, right? So I'm sickening and I'm like living my fantasy. So I'm not gonna like show that I'm comfortable, but I was very uncomfortable in that situation because I just didn't know what to do. Dude, I just felt so awkward because I'm like, she doesn't know me. Why am I up here on stage with her presenting her this like cake? She's having this like full like moment and I'm over here like this. Hi. Like what was I supposed to do? I just felt so uncomfortable in that moment. I wanted to literally faint, but she was so sweet about it. Honestly, she was so sweet about it. She was like, thank you so much. She was so appreciative. Such a cool down to earth woman, truly. Like I obviously wanted to take a photo with her because like I was there and we had this like really cool experience and like I wanted to be in a photo with her because I'm like, yo, this is JLo. Like I'll never be this close to JLo ever again. I would love to take a photo with her. But she had literally just like did an entire like three hour set, fully sweating in workout gear. And she still took a photo with me. She still took a photo with me and I know she didn't want to. I know she didn't want to, because honestly, who would want to? Who would want to take a photo with someone after you're sweaty doing a rehearsal for two and a half hours? Who would want to do that? Ain't no one wants to do that, but she still did. And I was like, honestly, so gagged. I was so gagged that she did. I was so, so grateful. And she was so sweet and so kind. And she had just like such a nice, powerful, like boss ass energy. And I really liked that. I really, really liked her energy. I really liked her vibe. But I will say just in general, like, like that, like doing the cake thing, like literally it like haunts me to this day. So I didn't want to do it at all. But overall, I would say the rating was another eight out of 10 because she was absolutely incredible. But the experience, like I had it in a moment where I was very uncomfortable. So it had to give it an eight out of 10 instead of a 10 out of 10. But I'm just, I just, I really liked like her. Overall, I just think she's really, really cool. And I think she's really hardworking. And she's just, I mean, she's beautiful. She's absolutely beautiful. So I wish her all the best in the world. And yeah, that was definitely a moment that I'll cherish forever. But I was like also shook to the core. Also shook to my literal fiber of my being. Every atom came apart like this. Shook it. Okay, next, let's go and talk about Miss Kim Kardashian. I've actually met Kim several times now, which has been insane. Uh, she did a collaboration with Mario, Makeup by Mario, and they did a collaboration together, and they did a palette together, and they had a dinner, an intimate setting dinner, and I saw her there. She was so, so sweet. Um, Mario's obviously fantastic, but she was so, so, so nice. I've been to her literal house, where she had an event for KW Beauty, um, which was, uh, again, insane. The cool thing about Kim, too, you guys, is that like she's just like a down-ass bitch. She's just a down ass bitch. I just like her. I really, I really just genuinely do. And I know there's like, listen, I know that she's a polarizing character and I know a lot of people don't like her. I'm understanding and I'm fully, fully aware of that. But in my personal experiences with her, they were all great. Um, you know, when we were at dinner, it was great. Like I was right next to Laura. We were like right, right with Kim and we we're just talking to her the whole night and just had like, down to earth ass conversations, just super laid back and just like very calm. When I was at her house and for the KKW beauty event, she was walking around taking selfies with everyone. Like she was just such a like chill person. Like she didn't give off this like, I'm better than you vibe. Didn't get that vibe at all. It was very much um, like just down to earth, which is like so crazy because you would never think that Kim would be a down to earth person in real life, but she actually very much is. She's very calm. She's very sweet very kind. The one thing I will say about Kim when I met her in person, that was always like something that was very unique, was when I'm talking to her face to face, if it's just me and her talking, and we're talking like this, she does this thing where she looks around the room and she kind of analyzes everything going on around her, and then she goes right back to the conversation, she's there and she's in it with you, but then like when you're talking for a little bit more, she kind of goes around, she analyzes everything, what's happening, comes right back. And I think that when it comes to like fame at that level, I think that's actually probably really normal. That's probably really, really, really normal to do, because you kind of have to be aware of everything going on. So it's just funny, like when I'm talking to her, like I'm noticed her do that but my experiences were fantastic like they genuinely genuinely were and even also even since then like i've dm'd with her back and forth here and there um she saw my video when i was covering my vitiligo with her body foundation we were talking back and forth about it she was talking to me about you know vitiligo and things like that and it was like just really cool to see this humongous celebrity have such a down-to-earth ass personality and i genuinely liked it so much i was actually really shocked at how cool and down to earth and just like vibey she was super vibey so i would definitely have to give her a good old nine out of ten a nine out of ten i would i would give her a ten out of ten but i'm no longer on her pr list so i'm giving her a nine Again, there's people that are dying <laughs> just kidding. next let's talk about one of my favorites if not my actual favorite encounters and that is with miss Nicki minaj <sighs> queen Nicki, bestow your power on me when i tell you guys that i'm a barb Baby, I'm a barb. I'm a barb through and through. So basically what happened was I met Nikki at an event. It was like this like kind of like fashion uh, event. And it was a very, very, very small intimate setting. It's the first time I saw Chris Appleton in person. 
like was already crashed. Anyway, I saw Nicki Minaj there and it was a very small setting. It was like, I, okay guys, honestly, the outfit I wore that day, it like still haunts me. It's the ugliest thing I've ever worn, I think, in my entire career. Random side note. Let me know if you guys would be down for this. I was thinking about this, but I'll only do it if you guys are down because I'm not gonna roast myself for no reason. Would you guys be down to see a video where I roast my old red carpet outfits and makeup? Would you be down for that? A little roast and a little ranking. A little self-roast, if you will. If you guys are down for that, I'd be down to make it, but only if you guys are down to watch it. Because I kind of thought about it, because like that outfit, it just reminds me of like, oh my god, like that was the worst outfit I've ever worn. And I'm just gonna like roast myself about it, but I, I could literally make an entire video roasting my old outfits. But anyway, that's not the point. Um, Basically, I saw Nikki, we, she was like in passing, and I just stopped her, and I was like, hey, I just want to say, I'm a huge fan of your work. I think you're absolutely incredible, and I'm so proud of all the accomplishments that you've you've made in your career. You're just absolutely insane. Like, I mean, you're amazing. You're absolutely amazing. This was years and years and years ago. And she was like, thank you so much. She was just like so fucking cool about it she was like thank you you're so sweet and like she complimented my makeup she was like bitch you look so sickening and i was like oh my god hey thank you like she was just like such a down-to-earth person like i was expecting that energy i'm not gonna lie i was expecting a down-to-earth vibes i really really was because i'm like you're Nicki minaj i just feel like you're gonna be just down-to-earth ass like cool ass lady I did, that's what I felt, you know? And that's exactly what happened. And fast forward to me going to an event for Mac. It was a Mac X Nicki Minaj uh, collection. They did a collection together. And I went to this event and I was gonna see Nicki again. And I was like, it had been a couple years since I had seen her for the first time, maybe like two years. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm gonna see Nicki again. I wonder if she would recognize me. And I remember uh, being inside waiting to meet her and she had came in and she looked at me and she's like, hey. and she like literally looked at me and like remembered me. She's like, I remember you. And I was like, you remember me? My gay ass. I was literally floored and flabbergasted. And literally she followed me on Twitter and on Instagram. Never asked her to do that at all, but she literally just followed me and she was like, you know, just fucking dope. And I couldn't, and she still does. She still follows me now to this day. She follows me on Instagram, she follows me on Twitter. And I was like, I don't think I deserve this. I don't, but we, every single time I've met her, we've had such cool exchanges and she's just so chill and down to earth, but she's still a boss ass bitch. You can kind of just get that energy where it's like, you're still a boss and you will run this entire town but you're cool as fuck. That's exactly the vibe I get from her. So I'd have to give her a 10 out of 10 for this one. Like, honestly, Nikki's dope. I'm a barb. I've been a barb since the fucking beginning. Y'all can't tell me shit about Nikki. You really can't. Honestly, you can't tell me shit. I'll love her for, to the day I die. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I love her. I'm a barb. Okay, you guys, so we have two more that I'm gonna go and talk about in this experience right now. If you guys wanna see more of these videos, let me know, because I can absolutely create them. But I'm gonna go and talk about Miss Lady Gaga. I met Gaga. I did. I really fucking did. I met her at a House Labs event, and if you guys don't know, uh, Lady Gaga owns a brand called House Labs, and she ha she held this event, like the brand held an event, and there was like a little back corner that was like covered, and like they were doing like a you can meet Gaga kind of moment. Luckily I had a friend who worked for the brand and was like, obviously if you want to come meet Gaga, let's do it and like get in this fucking line. So I'm like, bitch, absolutely. So I get in line, of course, with Laura. I mean, her like, let's fucking meet Miss Gaga Lingi. And I was like, so nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Because like Lady Gaga is one of those people for me that is just like, I've been to several of her concerts. Like it was like, she was one of my gay awakenings. Okay, I had a couple of them and she's one of them. Lady Gaga was a gay awakening for me. I feel like Lady Gaga really helped me feel like my most authentic self. And that I was like, okay, it had to be weird. You know, for me thinking I was gay back in the day, I just thought it was weird. And I thought I was like the weird kid because I'm the homosexual, you know? So um, she made me feel like it was okay to be weird and quirky and like just kind of be okay with that. Like she really made me feel that. So I was just like so excited and nervous to meet her. I really, really was because it's like fucking Gaga for me. Like that was like a huge deal. Um, And so I met her and she, was short, by the way, so much shorter than I was expecting, but had this most like loving energy. And I'm like, I don't know how she's even standing in those fucking heels right now, I don't. I will literally fucking die for you right now. And I remember she told me, she's like, you look so beautiful, I love your makeup. And I'm like, thank you so much, I really appreciate that. And she's like, what are your pronouns? And I was like, kind of taken aback that she asked me that. I was like, oh my God. Cause I just automatically assume I'm like, well, I'm a man. So I go by he, him. I didn't say that. Of course it sounds like so rude. <laughs> I was just like, oh, um, I go by he, him, but I appreciate you ask for asking me. And I just thought it was really cool that she was this huge celebrity who was conscious of how I was presenting myself. You know, she could have thought I was trans or non-binary or whatever it might be. And the fact that she has this humongous celebrity who just made me for the first time, she was like, Oh, what are your pronouns? Cause she saw me in a full beat with a beard, full glam with a beard. And she thought to ask me that. I was like, oh my God. I was like, just never forget that because I just thought it was such a like profound thing that she would do that. I was like, wait, what? 
did she just ask me what my pronouns are? Lady, like, <laughs> so I was gagged. I was gasping for air. She was so sweet. She was so beautiful in real life too. And she was just like this like small, petite, little, just adorable woman who I honestly have so much respect for and who I love. So I'd have to give her a 10 out of 10. I can't give 10 out of 10s to everyone, but the ones that deserve a 10 out of 10, I'm gonna have to give them a 10 out of 10. And last but not least, for our experience, we're gonna go with Miss Kendall Jenner. So I was invited to do this like behind the scenes moment with Estee Edit. Shout out to anyone that remembers Estee Edit. That was like Estee Lauder's like sister brand maybe or like smaller brand. I don't know if they were trying to like almost like appeal to like millennials or Gen Z brand. I'm not exactly sure what Estee Edit was. I don't know. I really don't know why they did it. But anyway, uh, Kendall was actually the face of it as well as another model that I was there to see as well. And I remember getting there and I was Lord be with me, so nervous. I was so nervous. This is one of my, f not my first like meeting celebrity moments, but I was definitely like something I was just really, really nervous to do because I just didn't, f I don't know. I always just feel like, why am I meeting you? I'm not cool. I'm not cool enough. So I just felt like really like ugh, awkward. But um, you know, I, when I'm glam, like I can really turn it on in public and I can absolutely like give the energy that these people need from me to just feel that they're most comfortable. I can absolutely like open up like a little flower. Just a bud, you know, <laughs> a rosebud, if you will. Um, so I'm very, very good at uh, analyzing the energy of what's going on and vibing with that energy. And I'm just really good at it. I've always been really good at it. I'm a very much people pleaser kind of person. I know how to evoke a certain emotion to feel, make someone feel comfortable. So I was like, okay, you know what? I have this in me, I'm okay, I'm fine. I can like get through this, right? So I'm there and I was bummed because she was like very dismissive of me and I was like, I also understand, listen, I understand that she's on set. She's a working model. She's a huge celebrity. I understand that. I fully, fully understand that. Um, so obviously she's not gonna be as chatty with me. She was just basically like very much like on her phone the whole time. Wasn't like wanting to engage with me at all. I was trying to like talk to her and the other model, just kind of like have conversations. She was like this the whole time, just on her phone. Just like would look up at me talking and then just look back down. Wasn't like engaged in any way, shape or form with me. Um, we of course, did we did have a couple exchanges that were positive um and i'm not saying the whole entire experience was bad because it was it was still really really cool to be able to be behind the scenes and see like how estee edit does this like really cool photo shoot and it was like very 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 fun to see that kind of experience i had so much fun doing it but with kendall specifically it just felt like there was a big disconnect with us and i feel like you know not everyone has to connect with you that's totally totally fine i was trying obviously i was trying to be my most like happy comfortable feeling kind of self and i was hoping people would feel comfortable around me um uh, maybe she didn't who knows maybe she didn't feel comfortable around me maybe she just didn't want to talk maybe she was working maybe she was in the zone there's so many different things that have happened and i can't even blame her or fault her um because like you know she's at work, she's like on set, she's doing her thing. So I can't even blame her, but you know, on my end, it was uncomfortable, it was super awkward. Um, it was, there was like a lot of quiet moments. I just, and there was just, I just didn't know what to do. There was a lot of moments where I was like, I don't know what to do, I feel so uncomfortable. What do I say, what do I do? We got a photo after and she was very, very sweet. Towards the end of it, like she started to open up a little bit more. So I have to say maybe six or seven, six and a half. Let's say six and a half slash seven. Yeah, that's the realm that we're going with the Kendall Jenner experience because I don't know, I just felt, I on my end felt uncomfortable. So I can't be like 10 out of 10, like, cause it wasn't a 10 out of 10 for me. Um, but I'm glad that she was starting to open up a little bit more throughout the day and she was just being a little bit more, you know, open, a little bit more receptive to conversations like that. And I also understand, I feel like I can't even imagine being like a Kardashian or a Jenner or feeling like people are just there to like watch you or like, I don't know, like being your business or like all these different things. I, I just can't imagine that kind of level of fame. I really, really can't. So I can't even blame her for it. I'm sure she's always guarded in some way. It was very guarded energy. I felt uncomfortable, but <laughs> I can't imagine her not feeling guarded in some way at that level of fame. I'm sure every single humongous celebrity like that feels like some kind of guarded way about something. You know what I mean? So I don't know, it wasn't the best experience, but it wasn't the absolute worst either. It could have been worse. Uh, but yeah, you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys had fun watching it. I actually had a lot of fun making this. I hope you guys had fun. Had a little bit inside of some different experiences into different celebrities you guys might like um, or might not like. I'm whatever you you know prefer. I have many an uh, experience in my day. I could literally make another like th two, three of these videos. I'm not kidding. With different uh, encounters I've had with people. If I will, I don't know. If you guys want to see it, maybe I will. I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> Depending on if you guys like this or not. But um, I hope you guys had fun watching it. But anyway, you guys have a good use of the night or day wherever you guys are. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. By the way, this is just my personal experience with these people. If you've met anyone on this list I've just named and you had a different experience, that is totally valid and that is your experience and that's totally fine. Um, this is just my personal experience is how I felt in certain situations. And that's totally okay. And that's totally, totally fine. Just because you have a different outlook or experience from someone doesn't mean that I can't have what I've had. And it's because I've had what I've had doesn't mean you can't have an experience that you've had, you know? And that's just kind of how the world works. So um, yeah, I just wanna say that really quickly. But anyway, I'm gonna get going. I love you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> And my motherfucking stepson. Hey guys, I'm a little cheetah today. <laughs> a little jaguar. <sighs> I'm gonna go take off this mug. I'm gonna go take off this glam. I actually think I look really pretty today, so that's really fun for me. That's really fun and fresh, right? <laughs> <laughs>